Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. And welcome back to the channel. So we continue Bus Sim September with another episode of Bus Simulator 21. So we follow on from where we last, in, left, in, last left in the last episode. And for those that haven't caught the last episode, it's in the top right of the screen. You can see here we've got a flashing yellow box as to where we need to go next. And probably I think we're heading on into the bus company to, uh, to have a look at our next task. So let's uh, abandon ourselves up here on the uh, the pavement. Not sure this is the most suitable parking space for us today, but, but you know, we'll, we'll find. We'll park up here. All right, cool. So in the lines, there we go. All right, so let's put on. Where's everything gone? No, we don't need that. All right, well, let's get out and uh, open the doors. We're going to run out into the rain. Where's the doors not working? Um, okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Perfect. Just need to find the right spot. So there's. This is Mira. one of the local bus dealerships. You can come here any time to buy more buses. They always have the latest models. Okay, cool. So it uh, looks like we've got like a blue hovering area here. So this is potentially the bus of a lot rather large. Use this interface to see what they have to offer. Right, it's kind of like a large bus vending machine. So let's click on this somewhere on this there we go all right so gives us some bus options available to us so you can see we've got three unlock the three that we started off with uh, at the first episode where we got a choice of the lion city the Sitaro, and the uh, centra so i think probably what we'll do today is we'll pick one of the different buses you can see a massive long list here of all the different buses that we can have including the well really expensive double decker at 680,000 cent or euros or whatever it's supposed to be so i think probably what we'll do today is pick the lion city bus because we've uh, we've had the sitaro one already so this is going to vend itself out of the door hopefully maybe is it going to drive out mirror is it driving out are we no oh there it is okay cool so you're not helping at all um so let's check the specs on this one so yeah oh no i forgot we got a get on board haven't we we can't uh, just load the specs so let's open the door perfect let's uh jump on inside and take over the bus and then we'll take it for a quick spin round the uh how do you like this bus if you change your mind, you can choose another one at the terminal. If you're ready to go, drive to the exit to buy this model. Perfect, thank you. So yeah, so what we'll do, we'll uh, get her all going. We'll start, I think, probably heading around for a quick test drive around the building as we did last time. And then, yeah, probably head out and see what we get to do today. So let's uh, remember my brakes. There we go, perfect. Right, she's staying there. She doesn't trust my driving, obviously, with the new bus. And yeah, let's head round to the left. What is that telling me to do? What's on the left there? Am I missing something? Obviously, I'm missing something. Uh, toggle indicators. Okay, I guess I have to use the indicators. It's constantly reminding me that I need to do the indicators. All right, cool. So you got a bit of rain today, so we'll start up the wipers. And then, yeah, we'll head around. We'll go through the slalom again and see, uh, see what she handles like. So obviously seems to be uh, handling okay as we go through here yet yeah, left right hopefully no cones murdered I think we're okay All right, perfect and then yeah what we'll do is we'll head to the exit I think this bus will do for today and uh, yeah, let's see what we uh, what we have planned for today's route interior here I think compared to the uh, to the last one we're pretty much the same so let's uh let's head out of the exit I can never remember which side of these bollards we're supposed to go left or right but we'll pick one and see where we go uh, yes we would like to buy this bus thank you very much good choice what a great bus this is let's drive to the paint shop next our colleague Ted is waiting for us there. Perfect, so let's go and meet Ted over at the paint shop. I guess we're getting the chance to... Um, let's 
put that. I don't know why that's gone suddenly into neutral. Uh, yeah, I guess we get a chance to uh, to design our buses and uh, pick a new colour scheme and stuff like that. So um, there are no skins available in this as such, other than the ones that have been produced in the game. I haven't seen a workshop option where you can design your own yet. Obviously, we do have our traditional alum travel livery uh, on the normal buses from bus sim 18 and tourist bus and firmus so it'd be good to get that on our buses in bus sim 21 or maybe try a new special livery for bus sim 21 so looks like we're gonna take a left at this uh, I guess give way line maybe I don't know I'll get used to the junctions in this game I suppose as it goes on and where are we going here so we're gonna follow the road round it looks like the road bends round to the right hand side here Looks like it just goes around to the right, and then next left, which I guess we're following that little pickup truck. All right, yep. So we'll take a left here. That one stop there. That's perfect. Oh, that's that's some sort of like uh, middle reservation there or central reservation there that we don't want to run over. And then where we go, we're going right at the end. So hopefully there's nothing coming. Let's check to the left. Okay, what's the surprise? The door, win the windows in the way. Is that car going? Yeah, that car goes, is going right, so we can pull out on here, try not to hit anything coming the other way. It definitely seems to be brightening up a bit, even though it is tipping it down with rain still, so those cars have got their headlights on, even though it's, you know, fairly bright sunshine around here, so. Right, cool, around here. One thing I have just noticed that we're missing is we're missing all the head-up display and all the tasks and stuff, so have to remember to turn that on when we stop I think I was turned off from the end of the last episode when I was trying to do a thumbnail so we'll uh, we'll turn that back on when we get to uh, get to the next we'll get to the paint shop shall we say which looks like it's just coming up here on the right hand side so I guess we're going to meet someone new when we get to the paint shop someone called Ted uh, who uh, will tell us all about painting our buses so there you go you can see him under the umbrella there just in the distance so let's pull on in here I want you to meet somebody. This is Ted Kane. He's the spokesperson for economic development here in Angel Shores. I'm very glad to meet you. It's good to see the city has a public transport system again. Seems like a proper transit company to me. Let's get it looking like one, too. Right. It's time to put some branding on our buses. Don't worry. The paint shop has got you covered. Cool. Perfect. So, looks like we've got our paint shop. So just turn up on the uh, turn all the head up display back on so we know where we're going and what we're doing. So got our little blue sort of square rectangle parking area, whatever you want to call it. So let's uh, pull on in. So don't forget the parking brake safety compromise. Customize the vehicle engage the parking brake. The vehicle must be correctly parked in the designated bay. Cool. So let's jump out. See how we customize this bus. So as you can see currently a plain blue uh, MAN line so uh, with out of service run over and the wipers still going it's uh, that's not going to ruin the wiper blades at all is it by doing them when it's not raining so it doesn't seem to be anything obvious around here so I guess maybe we've missed something so we've parked inside and it says the next one is to customize the bus so the fact that there's a yellow thing flicking here maybe suggests that we've done something wrong so what are we missing what is here Tada. Don't really see it because the steering wheel's in the way. Uh, parking brake, maybe? I thought we put the parking brake on. What did we put on? The handbrake? Oh, there you go. Alright, cool. So, you can adjust the look of your buses. Let's get started by heading into the My Looks section. So, click on the My Looks section and pick a primary colour. So, um, I think we're going to stick with an all blue look to it. So, I think the first primary colour will probably stay blue. But let's have a look and see uh, see how we get on with, uh, with, with different colours. And obviously, in the meantime, we'll probably just have to pick the skins that are in the game and see what they look like um, versus, uh, obviously, getting our own so let's click on the blue primary color and make the secondary color uh, should make it the same I don't know what that changes where's uh, let's say uh, there we go so seems to change other parts of the bus I don't know where the primary colors are and where the secondary colors are it doesn't seem to be uh, seems to be all the same so let's click a wrap and see what wraps we have available for this uh, for this bus so we can see all the different colors so yeah that's fine so primary colors are changing so we've got 
yep, we ride with pride, you've got uh, Angel Shores, you've got some weird funky kind of like patterns, so that's pretty cool, the, uh, the sort of Skyland ones, obviously all these ones are locked, so let's stick with the, uh, the sort of the Angel Shores Skyline and uh, apply, I think we'll probably, yeah, apply, apply with that one, it's only a uh, thousand cent or euros or dollars or wherever it's supposed to be. Cool, perfect. So we've done all that. There we go. We've unlocked a couple of buses, a couple more buses, and we've achieved the main quest of new and shiny. So let's. Uh, should we probably go to drive out of the paint shop? Stop next to Ted and let Mira out and get a payday on route two with the new man's line coach. Right, I must remember to turn the parking brake off. There we go. That's it turned off. How do we turn these wipers off? Where's the wiper button? Um, can't remember which is the button now for the wipers. Uh, let's see, is it that one? No, off with screen wipers, there we go. Oh no, turn them on again. Too many clicks. I'll turn them off in a minute, hang on. There we go, perfect. All right, so let's head round to the right and stop next to Ted. We'll let Mira out and she can do whatever it is that she wants to do with Ted and discuss whatever plans she's got for the future of the business. Now that's what I call properly branded. Wow, looks great. I've already planned our next step. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but uh, Mira, I need you to discuss our expansion plan. Of course, Ted. In the meantime, how about you drive the route again with our new and freshly branded bus? I'll give you a call later. <laughs> right, so basically it looks like she's abandoning me um, for another man. So, oh, good job. Well done. All right, so let's check the map. So, as mentioned, we've got to get a payday on route two. So, I think that's, uh, yeah, that's the sort of darker red color. So... Um, we'll, I guess we'll drive that one, yeah, so, or do we, yeah, drive it, see the yellow thing, pick the bus, so the MAN, and the Lion City, and then accept it, there we go, cool, so now we've got a timer in the bottom left hand corner, and we are on the route, so, uh, I think we need to take a left when we get to the end, so we'll, uh, we'll leave Mira here with her new man, and uh, and hopefully they'll be very happy together. I'm sure she'll come uh, come back when she's had enough and uh, wants to do so try something new. Um, so let's uh, head left out of here. Make sure something come in. No, that looks clear. So let's head round. Make sure we don't clip the car as we turn. Perfect. And then, yeah, we've got our first stop coming up just up here on the right. So I don't know how many of these routes... Um, stops we need to do whether we need to do the whole route or part route um, but we'll uh, we'll make a start here so we'll start up here just on the right hand side all right, perfect all right so let's open the doors kneel it make sure we do everything correctly we've got indicators on there we go perfect so. hey it's Mira I hope everything went well I've already got our next steps ready and want you to meet someone I'll invite her into the call this is Trish Harper. I'm the spokesperson for tourism and culture. I'm so glad to meet you. And I'm so excited about connecting all the city's places of interest to each other. Let's start with the West Oakwood. It, it was is the high of the time city's that we got a bus route. It would be great if people could take the bus home after a long night out. All right, so we've got one mission end and another one start whilst we've got random people in the bus. So, um, Okay, I don't think I can do anything with this ticket. I'm halfway through trying to give a ticket out, but it doesn't seem to want to work. So, uh, yeah, it looks like we've got um, a new route, new area to do, some nightlife things, I guess. So we need to create a new route to fulfill this uh, this new area, I guess. So um, we see it on the map here. We've got a number of bus stops on the left-hand side that we haven't started yet. So let's... Uh, create this new route pick our first stop so that's going to be uh, the one that's glowing in yellow so that's the first one uh, second one is there so basically you can see at the bottom right there your, your jobs for today so Saint 
Anthony and West Oakwood. Obviously, we have to drive it in our new MAN Lion, and uh, we have to be between 10 and 12, and then we have to drive the route between 10 and 12. And then obviously we have to drive back to Jetty Drive. So let's apply the changes. Uh, do you want to automatically assign a route? Yeah. There we Trish go. is absolutely right. Let's drive our new route at night and enjoy the pulsing heart of the Angel Shore nightlife. Pulsing heart of Angel Shore's nightlife. So there you go. So let's advance time. And what we'll do is we'll make sure we get the right time, which was. Wait! Where did my hat go? Okay. That's just rude, just don't do so. Is this a 24 hour clock? I'm guessing it might be. Let's. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Let's. Um, so, what do we say? 10 and 12. So, I don't know whether we need to be before that. Um, but let's do 10.30 and apply that. So, it should be fine. That should give us plenty of time to, uh, to do what we need to do. And you can see it there in pink. So, route 3. So, yeah, let's drive that, and uh, we'll get this part of the route done. Pick our MAN, so that's fine. There you go, you see the specs on it there if you want to. So, little bits there. So, as you can see now, we've time warped till uh, about 23 minutes to, uh, to 11, and uh, we're heading on from our first route. So, we have to start at Jetty Drive, which is our first stop, which is about... 41 seconds um, the town and the village not oh, sorry the area as you can see does look very different at night there's a lot more uh, bright lights I think the nighting night lighting effect in this is by far and away a lot better than it was in bus sim 18 um, the building lights seem to be just so much better um, compared there so let's stop here Oh, we forgot to use the indicators. No, never mind. Um, all right, cool. So let's let these people on. See if anyone needs tickets. Doesn't look like anyone needs tickets. So let's. Um, if I can, there we go. That's better. We are up now. So let's check some tickets. Make sure people have got the right tickets to travel. There no, no fair dodgers today. All right, perfect. So. Let's head on, yeah, close the doors, there we go, I've got to remember to close the doors first, then let's turn the kneeling off. Um, Alright, let's carry on through, is this car going to stop? Yep, car's going to stop, and then we're taking a right at the end, and we've got to stop almost immediately uh, when we get to the right and turn, so uh, let's make sure there's nothing coming, I think we're okay to go, so we've got to stop just here, so let's pull up here, go, perfect. Cool. Very Perfect punctual. timing. Well, Thank now, you. what more could you want? Hi. What? Anyone Hi. want any tickets? Tickets? No. No tickets. All right. Let's go and check nobody's fair dodging because we don't want. I think we we'll probably check that person already. But anyway. Again. Hold on. Yeah. Looks like they've all got tickets, so they're fine. And there's no fair dodging today. Right, take over the bus. There we go. Perfect. So shut the doors and then hopefully catch these lights right, and we'll be able to go straight through them. Yep, yeah, perfect. And then we're heading to West Oakwood Bay. We've got a couple of minutes to get there, so obviously a little bit longer drive to get there. Um, we've taken the wrong turn. Never mind, we should have taken a left there. I was too busy messing around, not paying attention to the sat nav, which sounds about right. So let's take a left at the east, this giveaway line. And Spring is here. I got so excited, I wet my plants. I got uh, Spring is here, I got so excited, I wet my plants. Well, there's some uh, some wordplay going on there. All right, what's this taxi doing? Is he going? No, he's not going. All right, then we're taking a left here. And nothing coming. That's good. All right, and then when we get to the end, we're taking a right. Look how good that see that skyline looks in the background. Even at night, it looks amazing with uh, all lit up and all the uh, all the lights. So, all right, perfect. So we've got stop just up here on the right. Good, we've used correct indicators and people want to get off. <laughs> Sounded like someone was crying in the background there. I, I could, might not have heard that, but it did look very... Right, we so we've got a... a <sighs> okay, so we can't let the... Again, another thing with the ramp is it doesn't seem to want to go out properly. There we go. That's better. Just move forward just a little bit. Maybe we're stopping a little bit too short. Maybe that's the problem. It 
Jake's getting off a lot. Maybe we just need to uh, to just uh, just we go that little bit further Exhausted. forward in the box. You can see we're kind of towards the front end of the box there, but uh, yeah, maybe we need to just be towards that front section, and uh, and that will save us the issue we have with that ramp. So, right, cool. Everyone's on board. Should we take some tickets? So, yeah, I think you're fine. Get sure. your ticket. You do. Oh, you don't. Okay. Yesterday. I knew there was going to be someone today who didn't have a ticket. I already showed it. Uh, perfect. So, got one fine for fair dodging. And looks like we're on now to our last stop. Or well, last but one stop. So, our last stop is Lincoln Street. And then we head back to Jetty Drive. Cool. So, picking left where we left. The stop was good. Passenger seems to have fallen asleep. Don't forget to wake them up at the end of the route. Okay, cool. Must remember that when we stop. Don't want to find anyone on the uh, bus. Oh, I can't read the sign at the end anymore. when we shouldn't have people on I the bus at the end. I think the last person we managed to wake up in time. So we'll hopefully. Uh, oh. <sighs> okay. Well, I did that car. Although I am, it is pretty good that we only lost like fifty-four dollars for crashing into that car, rather than the six million dollars that you'd have lost in bus sim eighteen. Uh, that is definitely a little bit more realistic probably just lost on our claims bonus or excess or something like that but uh, but yeah but yeah it's a bit more realistic okay cool so it's fine everybody's ready what did i forget to do probably forgot to indicate or something like that but my computer doesn't work they just tell me to turn it off and on everyone off we will get an 80 percent npc driver handling the route and follow the gps to continue serving this route or press c to stop serving it yourself Cool. So we have to drive back to Jetty Drive, so we have to do that anyway. Perfect, so let's head on out, make sure we indicate out. And then, yeah, we've got. Oh, so passenger is still asleep on the bus. Oh, we forgot someone. Alright, well, they woke themselves up, so that's always a bonus. So they can let themselves out, but yeah, we forgot that person, never mind. Should have been more awake, love. Shouldn't have had to rely on me waking you up. I'm not an alarm clock. Alright, so. What is... Oh, why is this not... Did that automatically put the handbrake on? Must have automatically put the handbrake on. For some reason it wouldn't let me drive away without having the handbrake on. I definitely don't remember putting it on. But anyway, so we'll head on to our last or last of our changeover stop at uh, Jesse Drive and then you'll probably find that we'll get to give this bus to someone else who'll get to drive the route for us uh, not something that we'll have to do every single time hopefully and uh, someone else can then make us money so obviously we get hopefully get the payday when we get to the end of this one we might have to do something else after to get to said payday um, but obviously we did skip forward a bit of time so we'll see what happens but uh, here yeah, we've got our Next stop at Jetty Drive, just a couple of minutes away. We are running a little bit late, uh, so uh, hopefully we don't get docked points for that. But technically, we've finished our route, so I don't know if they will dock us points or credit, whatever you want to call it, uh, for it. But uh, we'll take a left here. Let's hope that car's going to stop for us. Yeah, and then yeah, we've got a stop coming up here on the right. So a few people waiting here, so. Uh, use indicators to approach or leave bus stop. Bus stop ready for upgrade. This can be done via the map. Hey boss, Steve speaking. The driver on the other route called in that they're not feeling well. Can you take over for them? By the way, if you want to know when the next bus is coming, just take a look at the timetable. Alright guys, so it looks like we've got one more uh, task to do before we do get to a payday. So, take over a bus. Leave the bus at Jetty Drive and hold the C to leave the, your route. Interact with the timetable at the bus stop. Take over the Sitaro K from the other driver who is potentially sick or ill or going home or just fancies a half day. So let's go to the timetable to interact with that and confirm when the next bus is. So it's zero minutes. So I guess that's potentially behind us. So let's leave that there. There we go. See, it's just behind us. So we'll dispose of this one bus and give this to someone else and then pick up on the Sitara OK and I guess finish its route so I guess we have to click the C button by the looks of it 
Press and hold the C, there we go. And then that will give that bus to someone else. Hopefully we'll see someone appear, maybe. There we go, perfect. So, man's appeared and he is... Oh, people are getting off. Okay, maybe he smells. Maybe they don't like him. Who knows, but he'll shut the doors and then that bus will disappear. And then, yes, we have to get into the Satara K and complete route one. And it decides to pull forwards. There we go, perfect. And let these people off. And then hopefully, when these people get off, we should be able to. Let's hop on board, we'll get rid of this guy. So, excuse me, I want your bus. What are we doing? Ah, you want to come along or drive yep, yourself? Yeah, right, so let's take this over. So, we will drive the routes. Do we need to get these people on board? Is there people to get on? I don't know. Let's shut the doors, we'll assume not. Otherwise, they probably would have got on by now. And uh, Where did I put my let's kick? head on out. Let's go to the doors. So, for some reason, it doesn't want to. Uh, there we go. For some reason, it didn't want to unneal. But uh, I'm probably sure that's not the word, unneal. But it didn't want to return to normal driving height. Um, and we're heading round route, or the rest of route one. So, this air conditioning is great. It's way too hot out on the street. <laughs> okay. Uh, way too hot. So let's take a left here. So it looks like we've got a couple of stops left to do uh, on Route 1. So we, we're ready. Just got a text. What is Beethoven's favourite fruit? A banana. The dad jokes don't get any better. They're still here from Bus Sim 18. That's amazing. Um, all right. So let's uh, pick some people up here. Looks like we've got people getting off and getting on as well. So let's open the door. I think the bus driver's getting off. There we go. So he's getting off going to the hospital. He was obviously that bad, so he needed to go to the hospital. Uh, and he got loads of people getting on, so... I don't know if we need to check tickets on this particular bit. We'll quickly run down, check out the cowboy at the front. Just a minute. It has oh, to be well, okay, here so I didn't need to check the tickets because there was one person that didn't have the right ticket. So, oh, well, there you go. Good job we checked. So, all right, let's head on round to Lake Anza Road. Yeah, we shut the doors, don't need to keep those yellow arrows popped up. I'm not sure what was going on with that car on the left. That taxi seemed to be uh, either stuck in a hole or low riding or something of that shape. Right, perfect. So come around to the right. Alright, because someone's listening to really loud music. Oh, so some things don't change. Uh, I can't get the mirror without mounting the pavement. So let's quickly stop here. Check the mirror. There we go. Uh, is that the person in the background? Yep, yeah, see him drumming away in the background. So to lock the front to stop door. it. And then, well, we're wrong lane. We should take a left here. And looks like we're heading back to the stop outside the uh, outside the garage or dealership or whatever we call it. And yeah, we've got a stop just up here on the right. Oh, we left the indicator on too long. Why did that not reset? We made a physical left turn, and the indicator didn't reset. Okay, anyway. So there you go. So, got loads of points, and as you can see, we now hey have boss, our payday breakdown. Steve again. The driver just called again. He told me to say thank you for helping out. They're home safe and will be back to work in no time. There you go. So the hey, safe. good thank news! You. Our new night route was so successful that the city's decided to support us with a new bus. Let's assign it to one of our existing routes. There you go. So. As you can see, we've got some extra bits and pieces that we've now done. Uh, we've uh, apparently been given a new bus, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll sort that out in the next episode. But as you can see now, we have two buses, three driven routes, and then we have, uh, as you can see in the middle, quite a lot of uh, sort of things that we've done right. Some money, wages, um, no accidents or penalties. So maybe we got away with that accident. But yes, we uh, we kind of, uh, we'll call that a bit of a win, shall we say. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that'd be a, a good opportunity to end today's episode.
So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, don't forget to smash that like button. If you've enjoyed the series of Bus Sim 21 and Bus Sim September and would like to see more of it, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to click the bell notification icon so you can be updated when new episodes come out. Uh, and as always, guys, if there's any questions, queries, comments or suggestions for future episodes on the channel, please don't hesitate to put those in the comments section down below. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Take care. Bye.